Hey guys, welcome back to Big John TV. Got another drive through Thursday video for you today. We are back at Burger King. Again, Burger King has been spitting out tons of new product lately. Uh, trying to find other things that are new and popping up, but Burger King keeps getting worked back in. Um, I've got two things today. We're doing the Flaming Hot Mac and Cheetos, the deep fried Mac and Cheetos, and I've got the Chicken Cordon Bleu sandwich. The Chicken Cordon Bleu has been out for a little while, but, uh, you know, timing of things and the way it's worked out. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, the, Mac and, the Mac and Cheetos have been a, a regular thing um, coming in and out of Burger King, but now they have a flaming Hot version. And if you remember my last taste test of the regular Mac and Cheetos, my complaint was that it needed something more. And dipping it in the hot sauce actually made it really, really good. But then also, I did a taste test of Mac, uh, flaming Hot Mac and Cheetos that I found at Walmart. Um, they make it home kind. So I've kind of had a little bit of both of the, you know, the regular and the spicy versions of the Mac and Cheetos. So let's see if these from Burger King are any good. Uh, let's start there, and then I'll talk about the chicken corn and blue when I'm after that. So a five pack, I think it's five pieces. Yeah, five pieces. Um, it was like two dollars and forty-five or two fifty, two sixty, somewhere around there. So it's got that nice crusty exterior. It's got that red tinge to it, like the the flaming hot Cheetos would. They smell cheesy. Let's take a bite. Good cheese flavor. They didn't overcook these. <clears throat> They didn't overcook them, so there's still a good bit of uh, moisture in the cheese that's inside the macaroni and cheese. So overall, it's a good bite. These were fresh. It's early in the day, so they're crispy. Um, the mac, the flaming hot exterior has a nice kick to it. Uh, you know that these are flaming hot. You don't need to dip these in anything else spicy. But these are really good. I liked the ones from Walmart too. I wouldn't have gone out and bought a whole new box, but they're worth trying. And I say the same about these. Hmm. Maybe it's just, mm. Whew, it starts to get to you. Maybe it's just timing of the day because these are freshly fried, but these are actually really good. I like these more than I like the last ones. And I actually like these more than I like the Walmart version. Probably just because they are, like I said, crispy, fresh, and fried. So, a solid thumbs up on the flaming Hot Mac and Cheetos. Dipping them in ranch is just a really good idea. Yeah. Solid thumbs up on those. Um, they're probably limited time on those, just like the regular Mac and Cheetos. So you better hurry up and find them. Moving on to the sandwich, the chicken corn on blue. For those of you that don't know, the official definition, according to Wikipedia, a cordon bleu or schnitzel cordon bleu is a dish of meat wrapped around cheese, then breaded in pan fried or deep fried. So uh, Burger King has their version introducing the chicken cordon bleu sandwich made with 100% white meat seasoned crispy chicken filet layered with mouth-watering tomato pepper signature sauce, black forest ham, and melted mozzarella cheese on a golden brown potato bun. So it seems like it's the same chicken patty that they've been using for the past couple of signature chicken burgers, chicken sandwiches. Their Parmesan and the red hot one, the spicy one. Those are both really good. First, first thoughts on this coming out of the package, it's really messy. But it smells good. It's clearly it's cheesy. There is at least two full slices of ham. And we now know that's black forest ham. The there is a couple pieces of bacon, which I don't that wasn't in the description, but if they want to give me free bacon on a burger, I will never pass that down. Yeah, there's bacon in there. Bonus. And quite a hefty little hunk of cheese in there. So I've already tasted just by licking the finger there the tomato pepper signature sauce. It's got a nice sweetness to it. I don't know about the pepperiness on there, but 
Let's take a bite. There are a lot of different flavors going on in there. You get that tomatoiness, so there's almost an acidity, and then it's, I'm not getting any pepperiness, but it, it's almost got a sweetness to it too, with the, with the tomato sauce in there. The ham's got a really good flavor. It's a nice saltiness in there, but it's not over the top. And I can actually taste the cheese. to drop it. I've been a fan of the other ones and this one this one delivers as well. I am a fan of this one too. The price point's a bit high just as all the others are. That's I, I guess that's just going to be inevitable. You can't get around that. You want the big the big menu item it's I think this was like five bucks five sixty nine somewhere around there. It is a large chicken patty. There's a lot of extra stuff on it. So I, I think it's justified. This has got a nice interesting twist. This is different. I don't know if I've ever had a, a fast food chicken cordon bleu sandwich. But that's, I dig it. It's good. Different. Mm-hmm. Solid thumbs up. This one's already been in the restaurant for a little while, so if you're interested in trying it after this review, you might want to go get it quick, because I don't know how long it's going to be there. But I definitely, I definitely recommend these. These are good. And that's it. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thanks for the support. Big John TV. Catch you next time. Okay, so if you missed my original Burger King Mac and Cheetos video, the taste test, uh, drive through Thursday, we'll post it right here for you. And then here's the Walmart version of the, the Flamin' Hot Mac and Cheetos that we do at home, right here.